What's up guys? It's your girl Liz and today I'm back with another Morphe palette video for you. So this is the Morphe 9B palette bronze babe so i already did a video of my 9a palette and i will link that down below so now i'm going to do a look for you using my 9b so the colors in this palette are sunnies hang 10 road trip beach beach please vacay now boarding volcano midnight dip and faux real so I've already used faux real once, but I haven't used anything else in this palette. And I even changed my clothes for this video because I was wearing a black top, but since it's called bronze babe, I didn't want to do a brown look wearing black. It's just a bother to me. So let me go ahead and get my usual brushes. Hmm. So first off, I'm going to go in with this shimmery copper color in the middle here, Vacay. And let's pack that. There's barely any pigment coming off. I like that, yeah. I was thinking today I wanted to do a cut crease. So we're going to work all the colors fading into the crease and then I'm gonna cut it and then probably do faux real on the, maybe I'll do the two glittery ones on the lid. In with, let's see, we'll go over to Road Trip. Looks pretty warm. And we're gonna work that right underneath that color. Ooh, I'm sorry, I can't let the fallout sit on my face like that. I'm driving me nuts. I'm gonna swipe a little bit of sunnies up over it and see how that looks. Just to soften that up up top. Yeah, see, that's not as pigmented as I want it to be. Do I have to, like, get it up under there? It's a little more pigmented. Then I think I want to darken up the outer corners just a little bit before I cut the crease, and I'm going to just dabble into some of this Beach Please with my new Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to just swirl it there in the outer corner. Because I just, I feel so much more confident using darker colors with this brush. Like, I'm just, I'm so in love with it. Love it, love it, love it. I actually want to, to take that color Beach Please up under my eyelid. Oh, and I'm going to bring it all the way in. Now to cut the crease, I'm probably definitely going to time lapse this part because I don't really know how long it's going to take me but I'm using some of my Pro Conceal and let's get this baby going. And this time I'm not going to be doing a full cut crease. I'm gonna let the outer corner be smoky and I'm gonna buff it back in. And I'm going to set that with some Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. And 
just to get rid of that wetness. Although I feel like maybe I should have kept the wetness for the glittery shadow. We will see. So like I said, we're going in with this faux real glittery golden color. So first let me swatch it for you guys. Look at that golden, golden color. I love it. So let's hope that it looks bomb on the lid. And that was highly disappointing. I have fallout all on my face and none on my freaking lid. Okay, so. I'm going to go back in with this concealer brush and a little bit of concealer and try and wet it up again. And then I'm gonna try it, hold on. I'll see it popped a little bit more with that one, but this is definitely not working right for me with this color today. Oh my goodness, all of this product I have on this brush and it it's not sticking. I guess it's kind of building up, guys. It's coming together now, I like that. Going back in with a bit of that beach, please, up above that. Darken out that cut crease a bit. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the beach, please, on the Morphe brush. And I'm going to re-smoke out my outer corners a bit where I decided to leave it a little darker. Let me get a little bit of my Fit Me Loose Powder. Brush off all this excess. I'm feeling this look. I love it. Um, and another step that I have been doing more and more recently, we are going to do a bit of brow. So I'm going to comb these into place slightly. Then I'm going to take a small angled brush as so, and we're gonna go in with a little bit of nail boarding, I guess. I don't know, I just kind of pick. And then I just like really lightly brush it into my brow hairs to give my brow hairs a less of a like mousy, like ashy kind of color. Because sometimes when I'm editing my videos, I just, I just feel like when I'm done with my makeup look, my eyebrows look grayish and they just don't pop out of my face. So I've really been enjoying filling them in a little bit lately. And I really don't put too much effort into it. And then I go in and I kind of rebrush it through and try and soften up that middle part. Moving on to my waterline, we're using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And I believe this was in shade zero. No, this was perversion. So we're putting that on the waterline. For my upper tight line, I like to use this kind of rolly gel eyeliner pencil. For liquid liner, we are using my Soap and Glory Super Cat yet again. I really need to remember to get some liquid eyeliners when I go out, honestly.
Moving on to mascara, we're going to be using Tarte's Tartiest Mascara on top and bottom lash line. So that's the look with the lashes. Ooh, those Tardius. I like that on my bottom lash line a lot. So the only thing left to do is my highlight and my lip. For highlight, we're going in with the Illuminate palette from BH Cosmetics. And we're going to just go straight in with Lily. Uh, I believe I might have said this before. I might have said it on my Facebook Lives. I try to use Nessa and Kayla and they just don't work for me. Lily's the only one that has that perfect pop. There you go. And for today's lip, I will be using Elf's Matte Lipstick in shade Blushing Brown. Just to keep the lip nice and neutral, along with the look. Then we are going to set with the Pixi Glow Mist setting and prepping spray. And we fan. I will make sure to insert a photo next. I know I don't have the best lighting setup going on with it being so dark behind me right now, but I really am loving the Bronzed Babe palette. I am really excited to do a 9C video for you guys as well. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Make sure to comment below which your favorite shade in this palette is. I think mine is definitely gonna have to be that faux real shade right there. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like while you're here. Hit subscribe before you go. I love each and every one of you guys and I will catch you on the flip.